When most people think of fairies, they imagine this. Or this. Or maybe even this. But Shakespeare wasn't most people. He envisioned fairies much differently. This is Puck. Puck's idea of a good time is messing with mortals. Who can give the birds a lie? So he may say, cuckoo, never so. And playing with people's Treat passions. Treat me as your spaniel. Spurn me, strike me, lose me, neglect me. Use me as your dog, unworthy as I am, to follow you. What worse place can I ask for your respect, and yet a high place of respect than with me, and then to be your dog? Who is that that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. <laughs> what, with Lysander? No, with Demetrius. <sighs> but don't underestimate me. Though I be but little, I am fierce. <laughs> but it's not all fun in games for Puck. He's stuck in the middle of a war between the dysfunctional king and queen of the fairies. Jealous Oberon? Fairies skip heads. I have left his bed and his company. Thy brazen hussy, am I not thy lord? Eric and Oberon and jealous Titania duke it out. Constantly. Much to the amusement of the rest of the rather strange woodland creatures. And all of Puck's mischief culminates on one unforgettable midsummer night. I will, Hermia. Many a man doth mark and dareth not answer. Nay! I will not say thy questions. Let me go. Worth thou follow me. Do not believe me. If we shadows have offended, Think about this, and all is mended. You have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. And as I am an honest buck, if we have honor and luck now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. That was Puck a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hand if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. Come and see Midsummer Night's Dream, a modern adaptation of William Shakespeare's beloved Midsummer's Night's Dream. The show times are Friday, May 16th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, May 17th at 8 p.m. Thank you, and we hope to see you there.